Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Today we've got a brand new light from Mammoth Lighting. It's part of their new LED bar series. And this one is their eight bar fixture, which draws pretty much 800 watts from the wall and is suited for a five by five or 1.5 meter area. And it also has this additional uh, feature. You can see the additional driver here and the two UVA LED bars. That's the deep sort of blue purple lights you can see. And uh, I'm gonna test this whole lot together and see what additional um, spectrum these UVA bars add and the usual tests of course to see how efficient this fixture is and what sort of spread it gives. Let's see how it does. As you can see, this is a large fixture, big physical size, just about fits into a five by five. It's about four foot by four foot or 1.2 by 1.2 meters in size. And that of course is gonna give it really good uniformity in, uh, when, it's, um, when it's down over the grow area. So I dropped it into the five by five for testing. Manufacturer recommends 12 inches to 24 inches or 30 to 60 centimeters hanging height. So I brought it down as low as possible first, down to 12 inches. Center measurements were about 1,350, 1,400 micromoles, but the edges were quite low at about 300, 350. So I raised it up just four inches or 10 centimeters to about 16 inches or 40 centimeters hanging height. And I found there to be a good compromise between dropping it as low as possible to get as much light onto the canopy and getting that good uh, uniform even spread. The, power, the spot on meter, measures just the power range of 400 to 700 nanometers and will not pick up the UVA LED bars. So I had them off for the duration of the test. With the hang height optimized, I used my spot on power sensor to take measurements of the simulated plant canopy. And I took a, a row of 10 by a column of 10. That's a total of 100 power measurements. I must to calculate the total amount of power reaching this simulated plant canopy and show the spread of light, how uniform the distribution is. And the light consumes pretty much 798, pretty much 800 watts in total and delivers an total, an average power of 863 micromoles across the grow area, which is a really good high performance level. This results in a system efficiency of 2.43 micromoles per watt. That's the power output divided by the power consumed, which gives you the, um, as I said, the system efficiency. This is really good, um, excellent uh, efficiency level. You can also see that the spread, although quite intense in the center, is a good uniformity across the whole of the grow area. I also wanted to see what the power of these UVA bars are. Uh, in terms of spectrum output, they are um, 100 watts between the two of them, so 50 watts each. You get your separate driver here with the dimming station, so you can dim and adjust the UVA up and down separately. They're spread evenly. You can see them positioned here in between the, the, uh, the four bars on each side. And uh, I used the Sensitec spectral radiometer to see what the proportion of UVA would be in the spectrum. And here you can see, I tested it first just with the, the white and deep red LEDs on from the main driver, and then switched on the UVA bars. All of these are at full power. And you can see that there's quite a big spike of additional UVA coming from the light fixture as a whole. And contributes to quite a high micromole output of UVA. There are also added far red LEDs with the white LEDs, which add additional 5% in terms of photon output. I also tested the added 100 watt UVA and UVB bars for UVB output over the five by five area and measured a an average six microwatts per centimeter squared output Overall, I found this to be an excellent quality light. It's got really good efficiency, good high average power. It's got all the features you'd want from a light of this size and quality. You've got the onboard dimming 
on the main light with the daisy chain to dim and control multiple, fi fi multiple fixtures at the same time. The additional LED bars, um, the UVA LED bars with, uh, with their own separate driver and dimming. Clip in really nicely, very neat setup. And of course, you can remotely hang the, um, the driver if you want as well. It's also very good value for money. The details um, are below. If you click through the link to the Mammoth website, you get to see the pricing there. And uh, yeah, very happy to recommend it. As usual, any questions or comments on this light and review, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.